Welcome back all my Minecrafting friends. Uh, day 7, or the last day of the challenge, or episode 8, however you want to term it, was very exciting. Lots of cool stuff going on. Let me just get... Whoa! Looking down. Let's see. So, and there were deaths on the last day. Three of them, in fact. Okay, let's start with the deaths. Uh, John Fall 92, uh, killed by a witch using magic, uh, pretty much in the first two minutes of his, of his video. Uh, he was trying to get the, the witch into a cage, I think, and... Uh, she hit him too many times and he died. Okay, next is Jade LF. Jade uh, took a fall and got down to one heart, but she regened, recovered. She made it back to her base. Uh, she made a fourth pit cage and then uh, a creeper snuck up behind her and exploded and killed Jade. So, she was out. Next we have Barbecue Grapes. Barbecue Grapes uh, made some bread. He trapped a zombie pigman in a door trap. And then a creeper snuck up behind him and exploded. Let's see, no creepers can sneak up on me. Not in this position, I don't think. I should be safe with all my doors open uh, okay so those were the deaths now let's talk about the uh, scores the person uh, who did not die but got the lowest score was Tim Obert Captain Hook 5150 uh, in day 7 he found his house if you remember right, in day six, he came up to the surface, but his house was nowhere in sight. But he went back and looked at his coordinates and found his house, uh, made some bread, did some mining, found diamonds, uh, was attacked by a witch, got knocked down to half a heart, but he recovered. Then he found a zombie dungeon. He was the only one to find a zombie dungeon on the last day, I think. Uh, but he captured zero monsters. So his score was zero. Next in line, uh, we have Wild Trekker. Wild Trekker, uh, in day seven, um, made some more cages, uh, captured a creeper. Oh, it's raining, huh? Captured a creeper, a zombie, and a skeleton. But uh, the creeper despawned when he walked too far away and didn't have a name tag on it. And the zombie burned as soon as uh, day eight showed up because he had it in a cage that had a trap door on the top and sunlight goes through trap doors and burns zombies and skeletons. So yes, his, his zombie got burned up. Uh, he says it was, it was still burning uh, when it flipped over to day eight, but uh, I don't know, I'm still not counting it. So. His, his last remaining, his only remaining mob was his skeleton for 100 points. So, Wild Trekker, 100 points. Okay. Next we have Felonious Wizard. Felonious Wizard uh, built some cages, caught a zombie and a skeleton for a total of 200 points. Uh, good job, Felonious. Uh, it was more than he was expected, and uh, can't wait to see what he does in May. Okay, next uh, we have, uh, oh, I skipped one. We have uh, Bear Family 07 uh, featuring Little Bear. Uh, he made an iron door trap, like a door trap with iron doors instead of wooden doors. He caught a zombie, and... Uh, he name tagged him. He was in the door trap and he had his name tag in his hand and he opened the door, uh, 
tagged him and closed the door before the zombie could take one step out. It was pretty cool. So, uh, Little Bear got 100 points. Okay, next on our point totals would be uh, Outfoxed. Outfoxed uh, caught a chicken. Of course, you don't get any points for chickens. Uh, he made bread. He's uh, eating baked potatoes, so he's eating good. Was attacked by a witch and zombies and skeletons. But then he caught the skeleton. He ended up with a creeper, a zombie, and a skeleton for a score of 450 points. Good job, Outfoxed. Next we have I.S. the Bad. I.S. the Bad worked on uh, his spillway to his large cage. He did some farming. He put signs up so that you would know what, what mobs were, were what. Uh, he tried to uh, catch a spider without killing it, but uh, failed twice, I think. Uh, he couldn't, he couldn't keep it in the cage uh, without, without hitting it enough to kill it, so he didn't get any spiders. Uh, anyway, he ended up also with 450 points. Okay. Next we have Black Belt Crafter. Black Belt Crafter uh, was building cages, like everyone else, I think, on, on the last day, were busy building cages. Uh, his cages had water chutes running to them, so that's cool. Uh, he captured a, a skeleton, a zombie, and a creeper for 450 points. Okay, next we have Kid Awesome 2. Uh, I think that is uh, Troyboy777 on Kid Awesome 2. Uh, he added uh, iron bars to his cages on day 7. And he made a new large cage. He caught a zombie villager and a creeper, but he lost the creeper. Then he got a skeleton, and then he got another creeper. So, lost one, but then he got another one. So, ended up with uh, 500 points. Okay. Next we have... Uh, Smithy MC. Smithy MC uh, started out his episode uh, grinding zombies to get a potato, but he did not get a potato. I think he started every of his episodes uh, grinding to get a potato, and he never got one. Okay. Then he made some door traps. He caught a creeper in a minecart, so that was that was handy. He caught a baby zombie. And uh, then he caught a zombie, but I think the zombie died. And then he caught a skeleton. For a total of 600 points. Okay. So, who is next in the lineup? That would be... Team Colony. Team Colony uh, caught a spider, a baby zombie, uh, got some diamonds. Knew Zeus was down there collecting diamonds instead of out catching things. Uh, caught, a, caught a zombie and a creeper and a skeleton for a total of 900 points. So, it's 900 points for Team Colony. Good job. They caught a lot of stuff. Okay. Next, we have Cherry Bitters. Cherry Bitters uh, started out her day by making traps. She caught a skeleton, and she uh, threw a sword at him, and he picked it up. First time I've seen that. That's pretty cool. I might have to try that on my skeleton. Uh, she was attacked by a witch, uh, but she did recover. She caught uh, a zombie villager, a baby zombie, a spider, a regular zombie, and a creeper for a total of 
950 points. Okay, so next on the list, uh, you know, I think I, I think I skipped Baker Bell. Uh, Baker Bell, I did skip Baker Bell. Sorry about that. Let's do it now. Baker Bell, uh, Doug access uh, accesses to her underground cages. So you can walk down there and look at the look at the mobs, and she uh, she made some more cages, and she ended up with 800 points. So that's 800 for Baker Bell. Okay, who is next? Uh, I think that would be Bat Heart MC. Bat Heart MC uh, caught a creeper in a water trap. He went mining for iron, he made some bread, he caught a witch. He ended up with a spider, a creeper, a witch, a zombie, a skeleton, a, and a zombie villager. For a total of 1,050 points. So that's 1,050 points for Bat Heart. I guess you, you beat your wife. Cherry Bitters only had uh, 950 points. So, good job there. Okay. Next on the list would be uh, Master Rudy. Master Rudy caught a chicken jockey. So, that's, that's cool. Uh, caught a zombie. Caught a zombie villager. Caught a creeper. Caught a witch. Uh, caught a skelly, skellington, and a spider. So that's that's a lot of mobs for one guy to catch, and it added up to 1,500 points, which is a doggone high number for a single player, but not high enough. Uh, PB of the PB Plays Inside channel uh, ended up with a pigman, a spider jockey, a baby zombie, a skellington, a spider, a creeper, and a zombie. For a total of 1,550 points. Now, uh, a few episodes ago, like three or four episodes ago, as soon as she started making her base, she was digging these uh, pit traps and a pig uh, jumped into one of the pit traps and instead of like trying to get the pig out or you know just leaving the trap open for something else she closed it up and left the pig in there you know and she was calling him uh, let's see spider pig yeah I guess she, yeah she's calling him spider pig anyway or no murder pig she's calling him murder pig okay so she's been, uh, you know, having a discussion with this with this pig for like three episodes. And then on the last day, okay, uh, she had she already had her spider jockey, her spider, her baby zombie, her her skeleton, her zombie, and her creeper, okay. But uh, lightning hit the ground right beside where she was standing, okay. Went underground and hit this pig in the cage she already had him in and turned the pig into a pigman a zombie pigman which is worth 250 points so uh, that that put her over the top and uh, she ended up with 1550 points so without that bolt of lightning she would not have come in first place which she did come in first place, okay? Second place was Master Rudy. Now, the Gophercraft crew, which is Scotty Garbitas, Max Ryder, Paisley Playfully, Psycho SFK, Sayu Lily, and Basket MC, also known as Nathan Pelton. They caught a witch on the last day. Uh, 
they ended up with a, a witch, a zombie villager, a zombie, a baby zombie, a spider, a s skeleton, a creeper, a pigman, and a baby pigman. That is a lot of mobs. I think that's nine. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine mobs for a total of somewhere around 2,000 points. Okay? So, the uh, winner of the team challenge is undoubtedly the Gophercraft crew. Uh, headed up by Scotty and Max and Basket. I don't know if they have a head. They just, they're just all there. Okay. So, the Gophercraft crew uh, is the winner for the team category. In the single player category, the winner is PB of the PB Plays Inside channel. And uh, you should also check out uh, PB's channel because she keeps the player list after the first posting date. The list of all the people who actually posted rather than those who just say they're going to. So that's really handy to have if you're if you want to watch the videos or you want to know who's playing. So check out the uh, player list, and uh, I will see you all in May, where we will be uh, making a deli and uh, putting signs on the wall with all kinds of foods. I'm going to work on this some more, maybe this weekend, and uh, try to fix this up a little bit, because this is, this is pitiful. Okay, this is Mike Deering signing out. Thank, thanks everyone for playing.